Alright, I'm going to uh, get back to work on my clay here. I've lowered the uh, sculpture so I can see from above down. And I can see a couple places where I need to fill in right off the bat. Upside down. <laughs> that one isn't as good because the magnifier is too small. This is, I need a bigger field of view. And I'm going to put my other one from yesterday on. And that's actually better. All right, I'll stick with what I had before. As I showed you on the uh, end of yesterday's uh, video outside, um, the Unreal sound is much better outside than it is indoors, and that's because you got walls that the uh, sound is bouncing off of, and I guess the mic is so sensitive that uh, it picks out all that up. here. Put that back under the light. The only thing that screws my vision up right now is my glasses when they slide down my stupid nose. And they get out of alignment with my good eye. bow sheath. I'm going to fill in right there. Let's get this light a little bit more over there so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Make a suggestion to all of you. Take care of your eyes. Get yearly checkups and follow the directions of the uh, optometrist. It's hard to see what I'm doing back here. Gotta press that in to there. I gotta remember that there are parts that they're gonna cut off before they make the mold, and one of them is gonna be this extension here of the uh, bow sheath. And I think I can fill in underneath this uh, strap, and that would save them half of them fabricate that, which. Uh, would cut down the cost quite a bit. There we go. Of course you'll learn all this if you start casting your own work. You'll realize that you really do have to uh, make it easy for the foundry. I never do because this obviously this is a complicated piece and uh, they're going to cringe when I bring it in to be cast. But they always manage to do it and do it well. The key is to get a good foundry. 
I use uh, Northwest Art Casting here in Bozeman, Montana. And uh, it's a good foundry. It's about a hundred and forty or fifty mile round trip, which is not bad. I used to spend two days getting to a foundry. I don't do that anymore. Filled in. Good. I don't know. What I do is I take uh, tools to the foundry so that uh, if they spot a real problem, I can sculpt it. be a back flap on his shirt that would match the one on the front of the shirt. So I'm going to make that. Okay, I'm going to run this clay through this pasta machine. Get some of the tools out of the way. And the key is to get the clay not quite soft, not quite hard. And it'll come through halfway decent. I hope you can see this. I'm bending down so my camera will be lined up. I take the time and size is uh, the one in front. So I want to make our check the length. Make sure I got the same length. I do. I'm going to have to redo the edge on that uh, one. down to and let's get the widths. Okay. And we'll go in there. Okay. Down to there. There we go. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.